All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, it's been a while since I've actually posted some content. It's crazy. So, I've been gone for the past four years, and obviously, by the title of this video, you guys can tell um, it's going to be why I joined the Marine Corps, why I decided to get out, and what's next for this, and what I hope to do. <clears throat> so, let's just jump right into it. Why did I join the Marine Corps? So the biggest influence, I think, for me joining the Marine Corps was me wanting to challenge this. Right? I wanted to join the military from a very young age. I knew I wanted to step in and actually be a part of the military, right? Um, I knew I wanted to go infantry route. I knew I wanted to, you know, do the typical soldier thing, the stuff you see in Call of Duty as a kid. That was always fascinating to me. So I went in after high school, and it was crazy because at the time, my recruiter, like I barely talked to him, and there was a tornado that came through my city in my, it was the summer of my junior year of high school, right? And the day after the tornado, my recruiter actually came to my house to personally check on me, make sure I was okay. And so he asked me, and he was like, hey, you know, are you still considering joining the Marine Corps? Because he talked to me before that. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Actually, this, is, this seems like a pretty cool idea. And so I went in right out of high school, finished high school. First day of boot camp was June 23rd. The day after that was my birthday, June 24th. So I was in boot camp for my birthday. What a great time to be alive, huh? Now, in my time in the Marine Corps, I learned a lot of things. It teaches you a lot about teamwork. It's not about you. It's about the guy to your left and right. It's about helping your buddies out. It's about doing everything as a team. All right. If you guys can hear the dogs in the background, I'm sorry about that. But it teaches you to not focus on yourself and your own abilities. It teaches you to focus on helping each other out. So, in my time in the Marine Corps, I got a lot stronger, I learned a lot more. And I'm going to keep some of the videos that I had on this channel prior to this segment of it. You know, the crappy quality that I used to film on my tablet. But it just shows, you know, how much I used to know back then and the progress that I've made now. And how far I've come. So I'm going to keep it... I'm gonna keep it just to look back at and, and see how far I've grown. Now the reason I got out, now don't get me wrong, you know, the Marine Corps is an incredible place. I definitely loved my experience. I loved you know, hanging, out, hanging around Marines. I loved being with people that I can relate to and you know, embracing the suck. You build the best friendships you will ever have in the military. If you've been in the military, you know what I'm talking about. Sitting there in a freaking hole, it's muddy and it's raining and you're just in the suck. That person next to you, nobody else can relate to you as much as they can. Best friendships, hands down. Other than that, you know, the leaders that I got to work with, some of the officers that I got to work with. So I was enlisted, I wasn't an officer, but some of the officers that I did get a chance to work with have taught me so much about not just being a good leader, but about being a good man. A lot of the lessons I'm going to take away and carry with me and try to teach you guys and try to just spread the knowledge that I've got. And then another big reason for me getting out is I want to, like I want to study psychology and study philosophy and business and things like that just for my own benefit. Right? Because I wanted to go in, I got everything I needed to get out of the military, so now I want to go in and do bigger and better things. Right? If you're interested in military type content I'll make a video about that like what you should know about the military before you join or how to train physically but guys the biggest part of it isn't physical it's mental you can go in there with a good uh, humble mindset be humble embrace the suck understand that you're gonna have days where you're not gonna feel like doing it no, it's fine you have people to the left and right of you that you can depend on and that's the big thing that you can always count on is somebody's gonna be there to have you back as far as this YouTube channel goes, I'm going to try to make content relative to the knowledge base that I have. So what I'm really passionate about is fitness, dieting, anything like that. I uh, also expect some kind of like crazy food challenges, kind of fun videos, things like that that I'm going to be posting from time to time. Stuff with my girlfriend, going out to like random places and recording it, and then just, you know, overall vlog type of stuff and then we'll go from there. So my end state with this is to try to share some of the knowledge that I have gotten in my experience, you know, my lifting, my diet advice, all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna make you guys pay hundreds of dollars for crazy 
programs that I've done because I don't believe that there's a cookie cutter program that fits everybody. Right? That's something I'm very passionate about is fitness and so that's what I'm going to try to teach you guys about. And then we'll go from there. I'm going to add content and hopefully try to you know, improve your guys' knowledge and your guys' database and give you guys tools for the toolbox. And then other than that, I'm just going to try to make some fun content and that's, that's pretty much it, guys. So stay tuned. You know, if you like what you see, I'm going to have more content coming soon. Like, comment, subscribe. If you don't like what you see, tell a friend.